did. Hey everybody, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing how to fix damaged hair, the series. My client here came in and of course from the looks of it, her hair looks extremely healthy, right? And of course from the looks her, of it, her hair looks extremely healthy. It, it doesn't help that she's watching the video while we're doing it. Okay. So her hair looks extremely healthy. It looks nice and long, right? But when you lift this baby up, all the way around her perimeter is gone. All of that. On top of that, her hair is extremely dehydrated, which we live in Florida. She's actually about an hour away from me, about 45 minutes away from me. And when it comes on to hair care, she uses a good amount of products. She actually uses great products. But she's also a big user of tea tree shampoo and conditioner, which is her fave, right? Yeah, okay. unfortunately. For those of you who love tea tree shampoos and conditioners, here's the thing. While they are great, they are extremely drying to the hair. And when she came in, her hair felt extremely dehydrated. And it's not that she was doing something wrong, because you're taught that tea tree is great for the scalp. It, it gives you this nice feeling. She also has eczema. So for her, it's like, oh man, that feels good. It's helping with my eczema, not knowing that it's actually helping and then has an adverse reaction on that side. The backside to it is it dries the hair out very bad. So when you're using tea tree shampoos, keep in mind, you wanna make sure that you are moisturizing, 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 that's very important. And going forward, if you have a situation such as hers, we already have established that this is traction alopecia, she got braids, we, she already knows where the issue has come in, okay? So we already gave her her hair care regimen, so today when she came in, we did a strengthening shampoo and then we did a moisturizing conditioning treatment to help to soften that hair up. Now that is just a band-aid on the boo-boo, so we've talked about what she's gonna do at home. So in her at-home care, she's actually going to be getting a bottle of the Extra Strength Goddess Hair Repair Serum. I told her that she did not need to add any shampoo because she already has good shampoos. She's just going to eliminate the excessive use of tea tree and use more moisturizing shampoos and we'll infuse them with our goddess hair repair serum as well as begin treating her hairline at the same time good morning everybody i'm so sorry I, I couldn't say hi to everybody good morning good morning so she's actually going to be moderating as well so if you have any questions you're welcome to ask and she'll read the questions to me if they're just saying hi mm -hmm. you don't have to read those out mm -hmm. because those will just take longer you have so, one question though about what is irons it? straightening irons they want to know what the highest i guess heat it says what highest you can use a straightening oil. um you can go as high as you want i mean right now i've only seen them go up to 465 would I go up to 465 using an iron? Probably not. Even with a silk press, I'm at 450. So that should tell you I'm doing a silk press. Now with her hair, I'm using a ceramic iron and my iron will be set at 450, but I do larger sections. If you're doing this at home, you probably need to set your iron at about 415, um, 425, but it really depends on the texture of your hair. So what I'm going to do is blow her out a little bit, just get her a little bit straighter. And then we are actually going to do a haircut today. It's not that the haircut is required while she does need a trim, but she would like to start at an even playing ground and decided that she wanted a bob. So we're going to make the bob a little bit longer to cover that area where she's having the traction. And then that will allow that area to grow out evenly or somewhat evenly when it starts to grow back. If she's waiting on me, I don't know. 
Are you here for me? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you can sit in here. Okay. You can be a part of the learning experience too. It's okay. Someone, uh, Wendy has been said, good morning, what's a good shampoo and conditioner for natural hair? Um, it depends on what you're trying to achieve with your natural hair. If you're trying to strengthen and repair, um, then I would use the, well, that's my line, actually, if you're trying to strengthen and repair. It's the Hair Repair and Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. That's actually on my site right now under pre-sale. Um, and then if you use code SUMMER, you'll get 30% off. We're having our summer sizzle sale. So you'll get 30% off if you use code SUMMER. If not, um, if you're asking about moisture, you need to check your porosity to see if you're low or high porosity, and that will tell you where to start in regards to if you need moisture or if you don't. And then the next is it M M3K says, good morning, would you recommend a slip press or a relaxer if you like your natural hair straight most of the time? Um, you're probably going to end up with it going straight if you like to keep it straight. So, I mean... It's more like what, what lifestyle you prefer. There's not really a right or wrong to it. Some people prefer a relaxer because they want it to stay straight forever. Some people prefer their natural hair because they feel like it has more volume when it's natural. So it's more like what you prefer. I, I could care less on either side. I do both. <laughs> now for my own hair, I would never want to be natural. Sorry. But for others, no peer pressure here. You choose whichever way is best for you and which way you think is healthier for you. So what I'm doing is just kind of silking her slightly just so I can get the hair bone straight. I'm doing really large sections. This is not to style. This is just because I need to make sure that I can see every strand when I'm cutting and I won't miss anything. And I'm using a ceramic iron to do this. I won't use titanium on her because it's not required. She doesn't need that direct of heat. She's already relaxed. And then it says, is it Rila? It says, if I wear protective styles most of, the, most of the time, growing out my hair, how often would you recommend a trim? You but still she's gonna, natural. She's natural. So you're mm -hmm. still going to follow the natural guidelines. Natural guidelines are you get a trim every 8 to 12 weeks. So I'm sure you have to take down your protective styles at which point. If you have them in for three weeks, you are, or three months, should I say, which you shouldn't. But if you do, a rule of thumb is if you had your hair up for three months, you need to now pay your hair the same respect and have it down for three months. And then in between that time is when you'll get a trim. But eight to 12 weeks is the rule of thumb for natural hair. And six to 10 weeks is the rule of thumb for relaxed hair. Typically relaxed clients get their trim when they get a relaxer. Okay, and someone said, Billy Taylor says, I was wondering if you have any hair models that you monitor their hair progress with your products? All of my clients. All of my clients, every last one. So mm -hmm. it's not that I, I monitor progress and I take pictures as they go through. I see them on a regular basis. I just don't come on live all the time when they're here because it's by preference that day I ask if they wanna come on live or not. I don't take a lot of pictures and stuff of the same client over and over again, only because I'm more say advertising at that point and I'm not gonna, overbear my um my audience with the same person but i monitor them and i can see the the growth and the health and sometimes they'll give me reviews sometimes they don't i don't pressure them though how can you purchase your product are my moderators on there today did you see one that somebody that had like a little gear next to their name or a, a wrench yes jay can you so put it in? Oh, there yeah, you go uh, jay is jay is on mm. it Jay doesn't even play. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Jay is my girl. Mm -hmm. I have Jay, Cat, and Glaze. I haven't seen Glaze in about two days on there. And Jay, if you can put the Summer Sizzle sale code in there so everybody can take advantage of the 30% off sale, that would be awesome. I actually thought I was doing a decent job using my ends trimmed. <laughs> the <laughs> lies, the TP tells it all. Oh, you see the ends? Mm -hmm. See what well, she thought she was doing an amazing job. I'm gonna tilt it well, down I just knew a little that bit. This side was trouble because it was broken there. But <laughs> it's not that you were doing bad. It's just 
over time, mm -hmm. environmental radicals and washing and all that, all of that plays a part. This is why you got to trim on a regular schedule. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm almost done with the silk out portion of this. You Mickey Brown says, I take a lot of medication. Would you recommend your extra strength goddess serum? It depends on what medication you're taking. Um, what I would do if you're one of those where you're taking that much, I'd probably bring your bottle to your physician and just confirm. I don't feel like there'll be anything wrong with you using it because you're not in it's not going in the body. It's a topical treatment. So it won't hurt. But if you're having a situation like where you have high blood pressure or hypertension or whatever so many different things for this. Um, or you're diabetic or something of that sort, then I definitely talk to your physician because sometimes even adding this product, which is my product, and you're taking a bunch of different medications, that's not going to help because the bigger issue is sometimes the medication itself. And mm -hmm. sometimes you don't have a choice to say, oh, I don't want to take it. Mm -hmm. So I talk to your physician, number one, if your hair is thinning, probably because of whatever you're using. And sometimes it's just... Whichever is for the greater good. Shamel Smith says, good morning. I suffer from tangent alopecia, and I'm also natural. Do you have any suggestions to get my hair forward? Traction alopecia? She says tension, tension. but that's Yeah, traction. traction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number one, and this is the stinger, right? I always think people with this. You have to stop doing whatever it is you were doing in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's the only... Stop. <laughs> She's not even talking. Mm -hmm. No, no. If you if you're doing the same thing and expecting a different result, we all know that's the definition of insanity, right? Even though that's kind of like a myth, but it's true. If you're still putting in the braids, still doing your sew-in, still pulling your hair in tight ponytails, you constantly do it. You don't give your hair a break. Then you're not going to be able to fix the issue. So the first step is to at least ease up on whatever it is that was causing the traction alopecia. The second step, start a hair, skin, and nail vitamin. Um, and then third, you can start with the shampoo and a conditioner if you don't already have one for strengthening and regrowth. And then you'll add the Goddess Hair Repair Serum to your moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. And then you can also use it to spot treat. Use it less than the person who is natural. Relaxed hair takes and it just grabs everything extremely quickly because relaxed hair usually is highly porous so if you're relaxed you're going to use it one to two times a week or if you're spot treating you can use it daily if you're natural and you're trying to stay in the natural state you can use it every day Ina Fell says is it normal to thin in the crown of your head is there something you use to get it thicker again it's not normal to thin in the crown of your head, but it depends on number one, age. It depends on number two, what you're doing in your regular lifestyle, like your lifestyle um, choices. Three, sometimes it's genetics. So that's not, con it's not something that you can fix. You can control it, but you can't fix it. Four, if you're one that wears a lot of um, ponytails or a lot of tension in that area, it's gonna thin faster than anyone else. And five, hormonal changes also have an effect on that too. So it's not normal. It's always one of those. We don't normally thin there. And Monique Bartholomew says, can you give price quotes on air? Uh, I don't really give price quotes anywhere on air, actually. <laughs> on air, on the phone. Um, the easiest way to get pricing would be to go to EliteHairCareUSA.com. Hit the book link. That doesn't mean you're going to book an appointment but it allows you to see the different services that I offer and the price point or starting price point for those. Okay, you pull, put your body straight for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start here. Her nape or her hairline, I said her nape. Her hairline is about right here. So I'm going to bring her hair down about a quarter of an inch lower. And what will happen is, even though it's all of this area that's broken off, she still has follicles there, so I know it's not dead. It's going to come back. It's not shiny. It's not glazed over. I clearly can see that the follicles are alive and they're growing. So it'll just kind of grow like one of those 1990s bobs for a minute. And then as time goes by, it'll fill out 
and be able to catch up to the other hair because she'll be trimming slowly anyway. So it'll catch up with, with her actual hair growth now. I'm just tongue tied today. With her actual hair growth now because she'll be trimming over time anyway so this is actually one of the easier issues to fix versus those who you don't recognize the problem and you still keep doing the same thing over and over and then now it's become scarred alopecia which is traction and it's permanent hers is not permanent so she caught hers at the right time all right tilt forward for me so you know i believe in working smarter and not harder let me see something okay so the hairline is here. I'm gonna go down just a little bit more, create my guide. And you're gonna notice her fullness changes, her movement changes. Her hair will be a lot more airy and, and just sh shaky, I call it shaky. But her volume will change from just a simple haircut. And I like asymmetrical because I feel like it accentuates our face more. So I'm going to give her a slight symmetry or asymmetry in the front, but not too much. Now, if you notice, I didn't pull her front or her bangs in on purpose because they're already short. So I'm not going to kill myself trying to bring it into the haircut. And this haircut is going to actually allow for that front to grow out a lot fuller because her front is sparse. But I'm using what she has in the back and then graduating it towards the front and still trimming that, that sparse area. So now when it grows out, it's going to grow out nice and full. You want layers or you want it more straight? It looks better already. Layers. Layers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she wants Not some layers. Short ones, but just a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. She wants layers, so we're gonna give her some long layers. It's not gonna change the cut in a huge way, but it's gonna help take some of that weight off. So I'm gonna actually do notching, just to kind of take out a little bit of the weight, and then that will actually establish long layers at the same time. So. Oh, Nita Hill says, I have been using my Goddess Repair Serum uh, for two weeks now and stimulating my scalp. I already noticed the difference in length because my hair has been stuck lately. I will be tagging you on Instagram soon. Too. Yay, thank I you. Wait, I got to find that one. Okay, I'm going to screenshot it. 11.04 a.m. I got it. Okay, and then I go and press it. Save. All right, there we go. We're back. Uh... P. Burke says, are you going to be doing a live this evening? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I noticed that my evening lives are not so live. <laughs> my evening lives are not so live. <laughs> you know, this girl should be a poet and stuff, you know? <laughs> but I'm going to try. I don't, I try to sometimes. Sometimes life catches up to me and I don't get a chance to. So I'm going to work it out. Oh, Monique said, what a beautiful model. Thank you. You know, thank you. I chose oh, her. Right. I chose her, guys. <laughs> no, she, she did. She's like, oh, you're going to be a perfect candidate. It wouldn't It wouldn't be crazy that she was actually on one of my lives and was like, I can't wait. I'm <laughs> coming to see you this week. Exactly. You guys give her some, show her some love. Tell her hi. Mm -hmm. You got to comment so they know who you are. Hello, I'm Shay. Y'all be seeing me trolling the comments all the time on her lives. All right, so if you notice right here, I am not going to layer it. Reason being is it is already sparse. And then if I go and add layers, that's going to take away from the little length that is there. And it's going to add to the sparseness. So I'm going to leave her area right here exactly the same. It'll probably already have a little bit of texturizing in it anyway. 
but I'm not going to add to it because then it's going to make the problem worse. So sometimes you have to know when to just draw back and leave things alone. Rosemary Lane says, hi, good morning. I'm from Jamaica and my hair is very thin. What can I use? Please and thank you. Your hair is very thin. Why? You guys have to kind of give me some reasoning behind why your hair is very thin. Typically, you already know why. So tell me what you've been doing for it to get thin, whether it be medications, just not taking care of it, whatever the case may be. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of our Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum to her hair. I'm going to do about two drops, that amount. This is the big one. It's not on the site. I only have the two ounce on the site. This is because I use it in the salon. But if you guys look right here, I use this bottle on everyone and I have not refilled it since I started using it. And I still have this much left from here down. So a little goes a long way. The Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum adds heat protection. It also adds shine to the hair for styling. It is infused with CBD. So of course it's high in vitamin A, B, C, E, and K, as well as omegas three, six, and nine. And I'm gonna put a little bit of serum on the back of her head right now. Mimos Dixon says, can you do a gummy for a hair vitamin? You can do gummies. You probably need to do two. Adults have to do two. Gummy vitamins are lower in milligrams because they have to replace it with food. So you probably need to do two. Okay, so I'm using, took them from my mama. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Goddess Hair Repair Serum. What I'm gonna do is I drop one drop, two drops, three drops. Keep in mind she's relaxed. I take my two fingers and massage it in. Massaging the scalp is gonna to help to stimulate the blood flow which the follicles definitely need. And like a minute, you don't have to do it for too long. So this is something that you can do right before you go to bed, right before you wrap your hair up. That's the best time to do it because the body's resetting at that time anyway. All right. Let me wipe my hand. I'm probably gonna spray my hands with some alcohol. So I'm gonna spray my hands with some alcohol only because I don't wanna have the serum on my hands when I go to style her hair. It will make her hair heavy because it's very potent. So keep that in mind when you're doing your styling. Okay. Ray Holt says, what's the difference between a ceramic flat iron and a titanium flat iron, which is better for natural hair? Titanium is direct heat. Ceramic is diffused heat. Titanium plates are shiny like that. Ceramic plates have a coating on them like that. I don't, it, it's not really a recommendation of which is better for which, it's what you're doing with it. So I don't recommend titanium irons at home because you'll use them more often. It's better to use ceramic. You want a coated plate to kind of keep that hair from drying out and going really brittle from overuse. I use titanium to silk my client's hair up. No wonder this thing is something like that, okay. So I'm using a two inch iron. But you can use whichever one. I can use a one inch and do it as well, but I cover more ground with a two inch. Tiffany Jackson says, my daughter has 4C high porosity hair. Her hair stays dry and it is natural. What can I use to get her hair to grow and for more moisture? How old is your daughter? It depends on the age before I can make a recommendation. Monique said, amazing, her hair looks better already. Thank you, Monique. And hi to everyone that's been saying hi. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just, I got people sitting here. All right, we're at 213 viewers. Nice. So if we're at 213 viewers, I should have 213 thumbs up by now. Mm -hmm. What products do you use to get the hair thicker? Um, extra strength goddess hair repair serum. Um, hair, skin, and nail vitamins. If you guys notice, I did not say bi biotin all by itself. Biotin, while it is an amazing B vitamin, that is not all you need for hair health, skin health, and nail health. They actually fall all in the same room. So hair, skin, and nail vitamins, most definitely. If you don't like capsules, you can use the gummies. You probably just have to double up because they're not as strong as the capsules would be. One a day is always best. 
If you're taking other medications, definitely speak with your physician first to get the clearance for that. Outside of that, you can utilize our hair repair and strengthening shampoo and conditioner, but you still need to get a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. So you're not gonna always use the same shampoo and that's the mistake people make. You're treating different problems. So if you continuously use strengthening shampoo, you're only strengthening the hair, which is gonna eventually break it off because it's dry as hell. So make sure you get a good moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. And then the Extra Strength Goddess Hair Repair Serum is going to be your go-to. If you guys have been on my site as of late, you'll notice that I do not have regular strength on the site anymore. I'm actually phasing out the regular strength. Why? Because there is much more value in the extra strength to me than the regular strength. I like the formula a lot better. So I am phasing into just extra strength only because I, I see more value in it in regards to um, the pros and the cons versus the regular strength. Monique said, what did you just spray on her hair? Um, that's Sebastian Shaper Plus. It's called Sebastian Shaper Plus. They have two, Sebastian Shaper, and then they have Shaper Plus. I do not like the Shaper. It does not hold as well. So I use Shaper Plus. I've been using that since cosmetology school. So that's like 15 years. <sighs> oh, Mimose Dixon said she was referring to your vitamin and you do it in a gummy. No, I'm not going to do mine in a gummy. That's why I was saying before where you have to double up. You're going to end up using a lot more and it's just not a, a, a good price point for me to say use the gummy. I'm not a big fan of the gummy for my own personal reasons. I feel like the gummy is just, it's just adding sugar and stuff to the mix and you don't need to add sugars when you're doing the vitamin. For kids, cool, but not for adults. Sandra Spiritual Joiner, what can I do if my hair is shorter and thinner in the top? I am also 64 years old and I take a lot of medication. That's probably your culprit. And then um, you're 64 years young, but so the hair, it's not. Am I saying that nice? What? 64 comes with uh, maturity <laughs> hair loss. I don't like to be rude. <laughs> Listen, I was reading the comments, so when you asked me a question, I was like, huh? Sorry. It, 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 it kind of goes with the maturity. I'm going to say maturity of hair loss. Because at that age, hot flashes, menopause, all of that sets in. And all of that takes a toll on everything, even the whiteness in your eyes. As simple as something like that. So on top of that, and then you're taking a lot of medication, that's probably where the culprit is. So where I start, and I know this might not be the answer you want to hear, but I definitely start with talking to your physician first. Sometimes they have other alternatives that they just don't tell you about until you really ask and say, hey, this is what's going on. My hair is thinning at a rapid rate. Is there something that we can change that won't change how I feel, that will still make me feel great, that kind of thing? But anything else you do is just a Band-Aid on the boo-boo. And it's just going to be like reaction to adverse reaction. It goes back and forth. Jennifer Edwards said, so I can use the serum just to grow my hair, even if it's not shedding. Yes. It doesn't have to be shedding to utilize the serum. The serum is not just for shedding. It's for hair repair, growth, and strengthening. And then Tiffany Jackson said her daughter was 10. Okay, so Tiffany, your daughter is about the same age as, not even about, your daughter is the same age as my daughter. While I can't recommend a product for you because we are talking about a child, I use my products on my children. Let me say that again. I use my products on my children, but that's a choice that I make. So you have to weigh the good and the bad. I don't know your daughter. Um, but at the same time, don't do too much. There are only 10. And at 10, if she hasn't hit puberty just yet and seen her, what we don't ever want them to see ever, um, it's going to change again. So her hair is going to end up changing once more. And then it'll change again at when she hits her adult years. So don't do too much. Good shampoo, good conditioner. Keep it healthy. Move on. And I'm not saying move on like I'm being rude. But. Now, Sandra, the one that was the older lady, she said she took biotin, used moisturizer, and her hair is still taking its time to grow. 
because biotin is not the only thing that the hair needs. The hair needs more than biotin, and biotin can actually work against you, and their hair will fall, can fall out from too much biotin because it'll start attacking the good hair. Your body has gotten used to it. So now it's like, okay, this is not what I need. This is not what I need. While your energy may be great, your skin might glow a little, you need other vitamins as well. So I kind of lay off just biotin on its own. And if you Google the side effects of biotin, you'll see there's a lot of side effects to using just biotin, especially if you're using a high dose. Go to your like Walgreens, Rite Aid, any one of those stores and just get a hair, skin, and nail vitamin of your choice. You'll see the difference. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Lanisha Anthony mm -hmm. says, morning, when is the best time and frequency to use a hair mask on natural hair as well as a good clarifying shampoo? Um, I don't really, there's no good clarifying shampoo. They're all the same. Paul Mitchell's good. If you can't get Paul Mitchell, Sally sells one called Quantum. Um, and then what was the other part of the question? Um, hair mask. Hair mask you only use when you're doing your wash day. It's a mask. So that's a deep penetrating treatment. So you can't use that every day. That's only when you are doing your actual wash day where you're having a full deep condition and shampoo and all that stuff. In between the time, you just use a regular comb out conditioner. All right. We are done. I should send her home just like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray a little bit of gloss. Gloss that you spray on the hair should be oil free. Oil free gloss. That's all it's supposed to be. It's supposed to just sit on the outside. All right. Yeah, that's no good. All right. So I'm gonna use my rake instead of my retail comb, only because I want to preserve the volume. So even though she doesn't have anything in there like that, you won't know because her hair looks very full and extremely healthy, not knowing that she has so much going on. So that's what those layers can do. And in her front, I'm gonna turn into the front. So turn this way for me. if you pull her back, her hairline is gone in the front too and on the sides. Right? So what I did was I styled her where that hair, I parted her a little bit higher. So we're utilizing this hair to, to cover her trouble area. So I'm not gonna push it behind her ear, but if I chose to, I still can without you knowing that she has a problem. And then for her front, same thing over here. Hair's gone, but you won't know that. So that's the goal. You don't want people to know you have the problem. You want to mask it as best you can through just basic hair care techniques. Yes, you see, yes. She's living. Beautiful. Will this be on replay? Most definitely. This one will be saved. So what she's going to go home, not with because I don't have it in the salon, she's going to get her a bottle of the Extra Strength Goddess Hair Repair Serum. We've already talked about what she should be doing in the interim with her shampoo and conditioner at home. She won't be using tea tree for too long because tea tree actually does more damage than good. While it feels great, it's not always great for the hair. Tilt down for me. So you still don't know she has an issue with her just tilting her head down. Shake your hair for me. You can stop. But I, I like it. You see what I mean? Like, <laughs> these people just, they don't follow directions. <laughs> Settings. Uh, I can't. Sorry. Tilt down for me. It's at the highest quality. Unfortunately, this is live. So you have to work with what you have. All right. All good. You look good, girl. Thank you. She almost makes me want to grow hair. Almost. <laughs> almost. All right, guys. So let me turn you this way.
let me stoop on down I'll give you guys a five minute chat now this way <laughs> a five second chat so don't forget to like and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already what oil free gloss would you recommend actually at sally's i actually like the proclaim um gloss of fire it looks just like this if you can tell i use it a lot it looks like that this one is actually really good i've been using this for years i don't have my own gloss as of yet so proclaim is a go-to for me um don't forget the summer sale is going on right now for all of the products that you guys heard me mention excluding the ones that i told you that you can get at sally's everything is 30 percent off you guys actually have first dibs to the sale the sale actually does not start until the 26th i released it to my youtube and my mailing list as of yesterday so if you're interested in getting any of my products you go to elitehaircareusa.com utilize code summer s-u-m-m-e-r and that is how you'll be able to save an additional 30 percent off of the already economically friendly prices and get any of your hair care and growth product needs you're welcome charms sorry couldn't see you're welcome but this video if you're watching it live it will be on the replay if you're watching the replay guys definitely thumbs up subscribe to my channel Comment down below if you have any regimens that you're doing at home or if you have any questions about your hair. That is an open forum where you can comment and then I will do my absolute best to answer any questions that I can. You guys know I'm very truthful and if I can't, I'll tell you I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to turn it back to my girl here. You guys give her all the loves for allowing me to put her on the live yes. today. <laughs> I have the best yes. clients ever. All right, guys, so I'm going to get ready to do my next client. If you guys didn't know, I have other clients sitting over here waiting. Say hi. And they patiently waited so I could bring this live to you guys. Oh, she, she was like. <laughs> but I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Don't forget to shop the summer sale. Peace.